Well, I came in to do a little bit of an update on my indoor hydroponic garden. So I got some really exciting things going on, but I noticed a very, very serious problem, starting with on the chives. If it will come into view. I've got tons of tiny little bugs all over my plants. That is not okay. So I knew this was going to be a problem because earlier on I noticed some webbing on this watermelon and also the watermelon I had here before. And webbing is a sure sign of spider mites. When you have see tiny little bugs crawling all over your plants. So I can capture some. You see those tiny little bugs crawling all over your plants. I have some down here too. See right there. You know that you have spider mites. It's so gross. And usually how you tell or differentiate if you can't see close up enough to distinguish the little creature. If you see webbing, spider mites, if they're, pretty, if they're grouped together, especially if they're grouped together, but um, if you get, see a sticky residue, it's aphids, and that's how you can differentiate. But either way, it's super obnoxious. I have tons of them. You can see them all over the tube here. This is the return water tube, and that's because they've fallen off the plants. And what's really disturbing is I'm actually in the process of setting up my, my indoor growing space for the winter, and I cannot tolerate all these, all these pests. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Usually my, my advice for people who have spider mites or, or especially aphids is scorched earth. Like you get rid of every single plant in your grow room and you leave it barren for like a long time, months. Um, but I was hoping to get something going soon. So I'm a little dis disappointed. Really, it's my own fault because when I first saw the webs, I should have started spraying something. Um, I have permethrin, um, which I can spray. It's a little hardcore and it's poisonous to cats and I have cats, so I may not do that indoors. That makes me a little nervous. But um, I'm not sure what else to do with this extreme. People suggest neem oil and soap and water for these sorts of pests. It doesn't really work. All those like silly like organic or safe methods, they don't really work. I've tried them many times. So I do not recommend them. If you get really serious, buy a true like insecticide or something that will kill, in the case of spider mites, kill arachnids. Because, uh, yeah, permethrin is, is a good choice if you're not concerned about any potential side effects. I don't really want to use that on the chives because I'm want to eat the chives, so I'll probably end up harvesting the chives before I spray, if I spray. But I'm also considering just getting rid of the entire garden, which would be really super depressing. <laughs> um, but I may have to do that to protect what's going to be growing. Or I could just let it run its course and just deal with some pests all winter. But in any case, I wanted to share this video just for people who are not familiar with these pests or not sure how to, to deal with them and how to identify them. So remember, if you see webs, spider mites, oh, it's so gross. If you see a sticky residue, aphids. My advice is use a pretty serious insecticide, spray everything and keep spraying. Um, if it's only on one plant, get that plant out of there. Get that plant, spray it down, get it away from the rest of your plants, quarantine. And honestly, if you have a, a massive infection of all your plants, burn it, <laughs> perhaps literally. But in any case, um, I hope this video helps. Uh, this is a little bit of an update on my garden, which really makes me sad. I don't want to get rid of it because I actually have a pumpkin started. This big, long plant, for those who have not been following, it's a gigantic pumpkin. It starts way over here. And I have a few other fun things, like this banana pepper is still hanging in there. It's got lots of fruit, some of which is actually ripening. 
So anyway, hope this video helps. Hope you uh, enjoyed my little look at the indoor garden. I'll be doing the big indoor garden soon, so if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do. I'm going to be doing a massive indoor grow. And uh, all, that's pretty much what I do all winter. So be sure to subscribe to my channel. Like this video if you, if you would, because I'd really appreciate it and it helps my channel out. And thank you for watching. And thank you for joining me on this disgusting journey. Bye-bye. <laughs>